welcome to this video introducing Neuroscience for Leaders and Managers session. The idea of the video is to give you an overview of the style and the content of the session, as well as a brief taste of some of the material that you might um, experience on the day, to help you understand whether or not this is the right session for yourself or for your organisation. My name's Gary Luffman, I'm an occupational psychologist and I work for an organisation that specialises in bringing neuroscience and psychology to the world of work in a very practical way. Uh, we were approached by CIPD to put together a session that would bridge the gap between research and practical application. And what we've been doing is finding the material uh, that would be most pertinent to the business world, but also alongside that with very practical tools and techniques and frameworks so that people really got an understanding of, of how would you apply this stuff to the world of work. What we tend to find, or the, through the feedback from past delegates, is they, they find it really quite valuable to have uh, a bit of a guide um, to understand some of the most important points from neuroscience, um, because there tends to be quite a, an increase recently in the material people are being exposed to uh, through the media and the, you know, those headline grabbing articles about the brain and people find it quite challenging to work out well, what's the, the truth, what is uh, just there for marketing purposes and really what do I do with all this information, how do I apply this so that I can improve myself or other people within, within the work setting and what we've done is we've focused in on, on three Pretty core areas to the world of work around performance, relationships and change and we've looked for the most uh, pertinent content and material to help support those, those areas. The, the style of the session will be very interactive um, so there, there, there will be quite an open discussion, there will be people critiquing studies maybe um, and I would say that the, the sessions even though there's a, a set format and program that you could, could look at on this website obviously the, the sessions always get tailored to the needs of the, the, the small delegate group that we have on the day. Um, so if people have a very uh, strong desire to delve into more detail about a certain area, um, I do my best to make sure that we can give some time over to that, that uh, discussion and exploration. The focus is very much on construction of knowledge rather than consumption. So I, I make sure that it's not just me talking throughout the whole day. They, this probably will translate into me giving some kind of neuroscience uh, insight, some presenting some research maybe, or a, or a framework. And then people having time to discuss, evaluate, and work out well, how would I apply this to my, my context and, and my uh, organisational needs and, and challenges. In terms of some of the outcomes people would uh, come away with on the, on the session, um, it would be very much a holistic understanding of the brain, their own brain and other people's. Um, and past feedback does uh, suggest that people get so much more out of it than just what they can do better at work or how to improve other people's, uh, say, performance. It's the kind of thing that people talk about when they're having their Sunday lunch or out with their friends and they, they start to understand themselves and others in a far deeper level and when you start layering on the, the tools and the techniques and the frameworks like I, I said uh, people have a really strong guide to know what they might do when planning certain activities at work how they might manage those situations or understanding why things maybe have not gone the way they, they had hoped and importantly then understanding what they might do to rectify it we make sure that the, the session explores some of the fundamental strengths the limitations of the brain as well as some of the mechanisms and we will focus in uh, very specifically on uh, some of the areas around habits, how they form, how they are held in situ and what you might want to do to, to change them um, successfully. We would look at emotions um, and the impact of you know, managing your own emotions as well as other people. And people tend to find the, the neuroscience underpinning of, of emotions really quite valuable to get away from stuff that might be quite difficult to translate into business language maybe or um, and that kind of pink and fluffy element people often talk about the neuroscience really cuts through that and, and talks about some quite hard evidence-based facts about what is happening in the brain and some of the impacts um, from that we also spend a lot of time talking about um, insights a moment of uh, creativity or innovation or where that spark comes from and also change it tends to be uh, something that everybody is uh, very interested in finding a little bit more about so we spend quite a bit of time talking about the neuroscience underpinning of, of how the brain responds to change um, and we're going to spend a little bit more time uh, on that um, just talking through some quite simple content um, that we would ex be exposed to on the day.